We know that most of today's new battery technologies still haven't earned the public's full trust, mainly because many of them are still in the research or testing phase. And the big promises of breakthrough performance often come without any real-world proof. However, in the landscape, BYD, one of the world's leading battery and EV technology companies, and a top rival to Elon Musk's Tesla, is making a very noticeable difference. As we all know, BYD already has the Blade battery, a lithium iron phosphate battery that's well known for its safety and durability. In fact, Tesla uses this type of battery for its Model Y in Europe. But now, BYD is taking things even further by developing a battery that the entire world is chasing, a solid state battery. They've already successfully built a prototype on a pilot production line, and they plan to begin large-scale installation of these batteries in their vehicles soon. This new battery boasts twice the energy density of current batteries, allowing for a driving range of up to 900 miles on a single 12-minute charge. If BYD sticks to its roadmap and rolls this out as planned, Elon Musk might be the first to feel the heat because clearly this battery could be a total game changer for the global EV market within this decade. We're about to dive into the details and everything that's been revealed so far about this new battery technology. Every time a new battery is mentioned, most people probably just laugh it off thinking, oh great, another gimmick. The belief is that these kinds of batteries will never make it to mass production, let alone become common in EVs. Honestly, we used to think the same. And that reaction makes sense. Lithium-ion batteries have become the gold standard for EVs thanks to their stable energy density and the fact that their costs have dropped dramatically. From around $1,000 per kilowatt hour in 2010 to about $130 per kilowatt hour in 2024. However, if you look a little deeper, not just us but many experts agree, lithium-ion batteries are one of the biggest reasons EV performance has plateaued. Despite being used widely for decades, they've held back innovation and limited public confidence in EVs. But why is that lithium-ion batteries have always faced several challenges, including the risk of fire and explosion due to thermal runaway when damaged or overheated? On top of that, technological innovation has been relatively slow. Energy density has only improved by about 5 to 10 percent per decade. There are also growing environmental concerns around the mining of raw materials like nickel and cobalt. Because of these issues, many alternative battery technologies have been explored, and among them, solid-state batteries have consistently stood out as the brightest star. Solid-state batteries offer major improvements, with energy density that's two to even three times higher than today's LFP batteries. Their durability and safety make them even more promising, as they are almost non-flammable. This is why the EV industry often refers to them as the holy grail of EV batteries. To put it simply, every battery cell consists of four key components, the anode, cathode, electrolyte, and separator. As the name suggests, a solid-state battery uses solid materials for all these parts, most importantly, the electrolyte. What truly sets solid-state batteries apart is this solid electrolyte layer between the anode and cathode, whereas traditional lithium-ion batteries use a liquid electrolyte in the same position. This is exactly what gives solid-state batteries their advantage. They can store more energy and deliver higher power, while also being much safer than lithium-ion batteries. Liquid electrolytes in traditional batteries are flammable, prone to leakage when the battery is cracked and can cause thermal runaway to spread quickly from one cell to another. Most current manufacturers use ceramics or polymers as solid electrolytes. Now back to BYD's solid state battery, the company is currently testing it in their BYD Seal sedan. According to Chinese media, BYD's solid state battery has impressed with its charging performance. The Seal EV equipped with this battery can reportedly achieve a driving range of 932 miles with just a 12 minutes charge from 0 to 80 percent. Even crazier, a full charge could take the vehicle up to 1,165 miles. Think about that. That's nearly four times the range of many EVs on the market today. It's enough to drive from New York to Chicago. And while these figures are based on China's CLTC standard, they're still incredibly impressive. BYD confirmed that their solid-state battery delivers an energy density of 400 watt-hours per kilogram, almost double that of typical lithium-ion batteries, which average around 210 watt-hours per kilogram, 
and significantly more than their current blade battery, which offers only about 160 to 165 watt hours per kilogram. To achieve this range, BYD has upgraded both the electrode materials and the solid electrolyte. Reports indicate that the company uses an ultra-thin composite oxide solid electrolyte and high-capacity anode and cathode materials to accelerate charging and discharging. These improvements also enhance ion and electron conductivity, increasing both energy density and overall battery efficiency. Just imagine this. If you buy a current BYD seal equipped with an 80 kilowatt hour blade battery, you'll get around 373 miles of range. With the new solid state battery, that same size pack could give you up to 870 miles, but you might not even need that much capacity. A smaller 60 kilowatt hour battery could still deliver up to 621 miles. Absolutely insane. The higher energy density of solid state batteries means you can store more energy without adding weight a critically important factor for electric vehicles. Of course, 400 watt-hours per kilogram isn't a groundbreaking number compared to some other solid-state cells. Companies like CATL, Amprius Technologies, and QuantumScape have already developed batteries that exceed 500 watt-hours per kilogram. But BYD is taking a more conservative approach with its first-generation cells. They're avoiding overreaching too early, opting instead for a more achievable target that allows for faster mass production. They can always improve and scale up from there. With Tesla's supercharger stations, you can charge a 2170 battery to 80% in about 30 to 40 minutes. For the newer 4680 battery, charging from 10% to 80% takes around 25 minutes. However, BYD has stated that its solid state battery will only need 12 minutes of charging to achieve a 900 miles range, an undeniable breakthrough. But this feat isn't just about the battery itself. It also requires integration with an ultra-fast charging system. Earlier this year, BYD shook the industry by announcing a new vehicle architecture that supports 1,000 kilowatt charging. At its core, solid-state batteries inherently charge faster than traditional lithium-ion batteries because they use a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid or gel. Solid electrolytes, typically made from oxide or sulfide materials, allow for faster ion conduction, lower internal resistance, and enable higher current flow during charging. Additionally, solid-state batteries often utilize high-power electrode materials, such as lithium metal anodes which enhance electron transfer efficiency. This structure is also more stable under high charging currents, reducing the risks of overheating or dendrite formation, both major limitations for the fast charging capabilities of lithium-ion batteries. Thanks to these advancements, Solid-state batteries can achieve ultra-fast charging speeds like BYD's claimed 12 minutes benchmark while still maintaining safety and efficiency. In China, there are already some vehicles capable of charging at that speed, although 1 megawatt charging stations are still very limited worldwide. However, BYD is planning to build more in Europe and China, and we've heard they're also scouting locations in Australia, something that will definitely take a lot of time and money, but is also quite exciting. BYD's solid-state batteries also offer significantly improved safety compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries that use liquid electrolytes. As we mentioned earlier, the safety of solid-state batteries comes from replacing the flammable liquid electrolyte with a solid one, such as sulfides or oxides, which reduces the risk of fire and thermal runaway. Solid electrolytes have higher thermal stability, with higher melting points, making them much less likely to catch fire even when the battery is severely damaged, such as in traffic collisions. Compared to NMC lithium-ion batteries, BYD's solid-state batteries reduce the fire risk due to the absence of flammable liquids, a known issue in rare but serious battery fires that can sometimes require thousands of gallons of water to extinguish. BYD's testing including durability checks with 20 amp-hour and 60 amp-hour cells in 2024, has shown that their solid-state batteries can withstand extreme conditions like punctures, crushing, or overloading without producing smoke or fire. This is similar to the impressive results of the blade battery LFP in the nail penetration test, where surface temperatures only reached 30 to 60 degrees Celsius. However, BYD's solid-state batteries are not entirely immune to risk. Studies have shown that in the event of severe accidents involving crushing or puncturing, 
solid-state batteries can still catch fire, though the risk is significantly lower compared to lithium-ion batteries. Additionally, BYD uses a composite structure with glassy sulfides embedded in a glass oxide matrix, which enhances ionic conductivity and mechanical strength. However, ensuring interfacial stability between the electrodes and the electrolyte is critical to preventing the formation of dendrites, metallic lithium structures that can cause short circuits. While this risk is lower than in lithium ion batteries, it still presents a technical challenge. Despite BYD's strong advantages in supply chain integration and large-scale blade LFP battery manufacturing experience, the company is facing major challenges in cost and production lines as it enters the solid-state battery space. The first challenge comes from material costs. Unlike blade LFP batteries, which use common and inexpensive materials, solid-state batteries require specialized components such as solid electrolytes made from sulfides, oxides, or polymers, lithium metal or silicon carbon anodes, and materials of extremely high purity. These materials are expensive, difficult to handle, and extremely sensitive to moisture, requiring strict manufacturing conditions, all of which drive the production cost significantly higher than traditional batteries. Current estimates suggest that solid-state batteries could cost two to four times more than conventional lithium-ion batteries making it nearly impossible in the short term to integrate them into the mid-range and mass-market vehicles that BYD currently leads in. On top of that, BYD can't simply repurpose its existing production lines. Manufacturing solid-state batteries requires a completely dry, moisture-free environment with precision processes that are almost on par with those in the semiconductor industry. Key steps like pressing the solid electrolyte layers Coating the anode and cathode and detecting microscopic defects are entirely different from the slurry coating and roll pressing techniques used in LFP battery production. This means BYD must invest in building entirely new production lines, from machinery and clean rooms to quality control systems, an extremely costly investment that could take years to optimize. Moreover, current solid state battery manufacturing still suffers from low yield rates and limited efficiency. Many reports indicate that only about 60 to 70% of produced cells meet quality standards, compared to 95 to 98% for LFP batteries. This drives production costs even higher, especially during the early phases when scaling up remains a challenge. Tesla was surpassed by BYD in revenue for the first time last year. At this point, Elon Musk hasn't made clear moves toward adopting or investing in solid-state battery technology. And we believe the main reason for this delay is cost. Tesla has already invested heavily in optimizing the production of its 4,680 battery cells, so committing resources to an even more premium and technically demanding battery like solid state could face significant hurdles. However, if the cost drops, there's a strong chance Tesla would consider adopting the technology. We're not saying Elon Musk will definitely bring solid state batteries to Tesla. But it's also not something we can rule out, especially considering Tesla already uses BYD's blade batteries in the Model Y produced at Giga Berlin. BYD will be testing its new battery until 2027, when the company plans to begin small-scale mass production of the new cells. This phase will allow BYD to better understand the battery's real-world performance and limitations. The company has completed lab testing and is confident in the safety and performance of its solid-state battery cells. If no critical weaknesses are found during testing, BYD plans to initiate limited mass production in 2027. Full-scale mass production is scheduled for 2028, although electric vehicles equipped with SSBs will be more expensive than those powered by liquid electrolyte batteries. Currently, the BYD seal is priced between $24,500 and $33,400. Analysts expect the switch to solid-state batteries will increase prices by around $3,500. However, BYD estimates that SSBs will reach cost parity with liquid electrolyte batteries by 2030. Aside from BYD, Samsung is the second company we have strong confidence in when it comes to the future of this technology and their seriousness about it. Quiet but deliberate, what Samsung is doing makes it clear they're not just joining the race, they're aiming to lead it. At Battery Day 2024 in South Korea, 
Samsung officially announced that its pilot production line for solid-state batteries is now operational, and the first samples have already been sent to major EV manufacturers for real-world testing. The company aims to commercialize solid-state batteries by 2027. However, what's capturing the attention of the tech world and the automotive industry isn't just the production timeline. It's the numbers this battery technology delivers. Samsung claims its solid-state battery has an energy density of up to 500 watt-hours per kilogram, double that of current lithium-ion batteries and higher than BYD's solid-state cells. According to Samsung, this allows EVs to achieve a driving range of up to 621 miles on a single charge, far beyond any electric vehicle currently on the market. The charging time is equally impressive. Just nine minutes to reach 80%. This is no longer a vague promise, but a set of concrete specifications tied to a working prototype that has already undergone testing. Samsung's core technology lies in its use of a proprietary solid electrolyte, combined with a high-energy lithium manganese cathode and a composite silicon carbon anode. Notably, the company has completely eliminated the traditional metal anode, saving space and significantly increasing energy capacity. This approach results in a battery that is lighter, safer, and more efficient. In terms of durability, Samsung is targeting a battery lifespan of up to 20 years. Additionally, by eliminating the use of liquid electrolytes, the risk of fire or explosion, a key weakness in today's battery technology, is effectively removed. That said, Samsung is candid about the current cost challenges. Materials like ceramics and glass used in the solid electrolyte require extremely precise and controlled manufacturing conditions. As a result, in the early stages, Samsung's solid-state batteries will be used in premium vehicle models. But, like any emerging technology, costs are expected to come down over time as production scales up and processes are optimized. Today, major leaps in energy storage are reshaping how we think about EVs. Solid-state batteries clearly offer the promise of electric vehicles that can travel 600, 800, or even 1,000 miles on a single charge, recharge in just a few minutes, and last up to 20 years. Among the key players, BYD is taking a practical approach to solid-state batteries, focusing on greater safety, stability, and a path toward scaled production within this decade. With mass production plans and a promise of cost parity by 2030, BYD's solid-state battery could be the next big leap forward, but will it truly be a game-changer or just another overhyped innovation? What do you think about BYD's solid state battery? Drop your comment below. Thanks for watching.